Good afternoon, George Cavaligos for HFT Bonds. <coughs> Decent day. Came in this morning, um, market had gapped lower when we reopened this morning at 5 a.m. based on the you know fiscal cliff silliness getting resolved. We knew it would be at some point. I'm really surprised actually at how hard the bond market's gotten hit because of this situation. I think they caught the, the dealers a little bit too long. They'd taken their hedges off as you know we'd gone through that big spate of auctions that was the two weeks before the year end. Now we've got you know the, the new QE4 program starting. Really they come with a buyback tomorrow. I think they're buying back seven years tomorrow. But then they announce three years 10 years and 30 years auctions for next week. We also have the FOMC minutes from last uh, month, tomorrow. And I think we got some other economic data too. Uh, the ISM data has been a lot stronger than expected. Kind of watching China, we're seeing stronger economic data out of the Far East. They're getting some PMI data over there tonight. Their stock market has really been, you know, the tell. They've had a very strong run in their equity markets, as has the Japanese going to keep an eye on that stuff. I think as long as we're seeing those those ec Asian equity markets and the European equity markets power higher, I think uh, the bonds here could be under some more pressure. Tomorrow is the buyback, so we're going to have to watch that game. Um, we just covered some shorts from the afternoon trade, which was, uh, you know, okay, small winner, not bad. Um, the TBF trade is working great, up another whatever percent and some change today. Um, that's been a real nice trade. I wish I would have had more of those on, unfortunately, but that's all right. I'm going to get out of those tomorrow morning um, early in the pre-market, probably. Um, the futures positions, it's kind of an interesting trade now. Bonds made new lows by a couple ticks today. Closed above those lows, which you can almost say that was a bit of a... Uh, spring where the market makes new lows and then closes back above the old lows. The 10-year did not make new lows today, so we're seeing that curve steepening divergence, and I think that curve steepening divergence is ultimately negative for the bonds and notes. I just think we're going to have a little bit of a kind of choppy breather here right now. The bounce off the lows looks like some kind of a very short-term fourth wave. I just don't know if it's over yet. Get another lower low. Maybe tomorrow morning will be that lower low. And then I'm going to cover my TBF and, you know, stand aside and maybe even take a shot on the long side here. Um, what else is going on? Equities are making new highs right now. Um, we're about a minute before the uh, cash equity close. Um, the tenures aren't really coming off that much and neither are the bonds. I'm looking for a bit of a range trade overnight with sort of a negative bias. I hope we get a little bit of a bounce up here. We did hold up you know, above the opening range in the uh, last, whatever, two hours here, 132 even was the opening range today in the 10-year. I think that's going to be kind of a key pivot area. I think we can work our way higher. We have a gap now from 132.07 plus up to 132.10. And on the bond side, I think we could go a little bit higher. 146.03 would be C equals A up off this morning's low in the bonds. You have to be careful here because bonds are trading a lot weaker than the 10 years are. So I'm going to give the bond the benefit of the doubt here rather than the 10 year because of the curve steepening situation. And I think if you want to get short, you want to sell the bonds. And if you want to get long, you want to probably take a shot at buying the 10 year. Even though I don't think you want to be bottom fishing down here. I still think we have the boys off sides here. Way too long and underwater. So I think any rally is going to find sellers at, at you know at resistance levels. So um, levels overnight in the bonds, um, 146.03 is going to be key. That would be A, C equals A off this morning's low. Um, 146 even to 03. I think if you s start seeing any kind of selling coming up there, maybe put a small short on. Look to cover them against that you know 145.19.20 level um, that held up all afternoon. 145.19 is the old low. Um, today's low we got down at 13.14 level, which was kind of important. Um, I'm not sure this momentum system that my boss uses. Um, I'm not sure the basis of it. I, I don't know enough about it, but it does throw up some interesting levels occasionally. And it looked at the sheet this morning that 145.13.14. 
and then nothing all the way down to what was it 14201 yeah 14201 that would be a nice move so I'm gonna keep that in mind in the back of my mind here we'll see how that works out overnight what else ah, that's about it guys still battling this cold it's unbelievable how this flu has held on I gotten the flu shot too I think they guessed wrong in terms of you know what strain of flu was going around and how they try to figure out you know what the shots they should give you beforehand it's the first time I've had it in probably 10 years and it's held <laughs> on for a good two weeks I'm still suffering here a little bit so had a decent day gonna head home get some rest take a look at the markets a little bit tonight I'm not sure how uh, late I'm gonna stay up and look at this stuff but if we do see a bit of a bounce I'll try to put a small short on and look to cover tomorrow morning very early. Have a great night, guys. We'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>